Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Topps Gold Label Baseball. 16 box, pick your team, number six. This is the last case we have in the store at the moment. I'm not sure if we have any more on the way, but for now, that's that. So thanks everyone for helping up fill up all these breaks. If you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that team in the filler. James, you also ended up with last spot mojo with the Marlins. Got the last spot before I pulled the remaining teams for that filler. I think personal breaks may have a few more individual boxes left if you really want to get into some more gold label. And that's on Instagram, Instagram Live, at Jaspies Breaks. Thanks everybody for the fill and good luck. Sorry, Eric, no trades in a pick your team, Jake. for one frame per box, one gold frame a box. There's a relic in the case somewhere. That's the auto. Oh, and the relic is here already. All right, so we're gonna get the one per case relic early. Let's pop that corner open right there, there we go. All right. Good luck. Got a blue Willie Mays. And a blue Cody Bellinger. Still Dodgers edition here. That's to 150. That'll be for, uh, for Eric. And to 50, that's William Mays for my rivals, the Giant Jose with that one. All right, the relic behind upside down Mark McGuire is, is Jeff Bagwell, one out of five. A train whistle, nice. Piece of his lumber there, the game used memorabilia. Jeff Bagwell, Astros, part of the Killer Bees. Ed P with Houston. Ed, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. All right, nice start. Autograph. Auto is a Blue Jay, an auto auto. Auto Lopez. And that is for Toronto. That's going to be for Henry. Onwards. Got a blue Hank Aaron. 
Got another Cody Bellinger blue. Got a Bobby Witt Jr. base. Bobby Wood Jr. is going to go to Kevin Hall on the Royals. I'll randomize the Royals in the filler. And the Cody Bellinger goes to Eric. That's to 150. And the Hank Aaron, 73 out of 99, is going to go to Stephen Carney in Atlanta. Your autograph is going to be for the Cardinals, Juan Yepes. Rookie auto for the Redbirds. That is for Eric Houston. Cardinals. On the board, Eric. There you go. I'll take it. You can put it on the board. Tatis Jr. Blue, our first Wander Franco. And a Spencer Torkelson. Kevin has the Tigers. Jake got the Rays. And the blue Tatis Jr. is to 150. That will be for Gary and the Friars. No, I did not, Direct Sorry, I was, uh, probably, was probably in the midst of, uh, there's Cal Raleigh in the midst of watching UCLA lose. Uh, wait, what, so what was your question? Oh, who my top five announcers are or were? Uh, that's Rob and the Mariners. That's a good question. Um, let's think about that. And Vince Scully probably probably sits on top. Vince Scully, Chick Hearn. Vince Scully of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Brooklyn and Los Angeles Dodgers. And then um, Chick Hearn, who did the Lakers broadcast for a long time and coined phrases such as uh, coined phrases such as slam dunk. Vince Scully was great because he often let the crowd tell the story. So if there's like a big home run or something like that, he'll sometimes not say anything. And just let the crowd just cheer on for like, I don't know, 30 seconds or something like that. There's a lot of, a lot of power in sort of, you know, um, in silence. So, Eric, the tiers are all in these tiny, tiny print right there that, that circles the team logo. It's sort of hard to tell <laughs> at, a, at, a, at a quick glance. There's a red Willie Mays to 50, but I think all the parallels have different numbering based on the tier. So, let me... Hold that list up really quick. So, class two, so out of 50 is class two. A red out of 25 would be class three. And this Julio Rodriguez, I think, is class three. Sort of hard to see, but 
That's a class three, and that'll be for Rob and the Mariners. The Garrett Cole, purple to 99. Purple to 99 is class one. And that's a class three, Beau Bichette to 25. So that's for Toronto, that'll be for Henry. The announcer questions are hard questions because I feel like a lot of people are going to default to to listening to who they grew up with. And there is TJ Friedel for the Red Legs. And that will be for John. I guess it's like try, I'm trying to think of like who are some like national announcers because like. Everyone's been told, like, for example, how great, you know, Vin Scully is, but I'll bet most people haven't heard too much of Vin Scully announcing. He's been the exclusive Dodgers announcer for so long, unless you're of a certain age. And you remember Vin Scully doing, like, football for NBC in the early 80s and, and some golf, too, when he did, when he did a lot more work. All right, first quarter of the case done. Second. Oh, you know what, Eric? I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop the checklist in the chat for you and everybody else, so you can see. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the class one, two, and three. Um, the class one, two, and three parallels and what they're numbered to. If you just want to follow along. But yeah, we're trying try to think of like uh, national broadcasters. Yeah, I do like the, what is it? Is it Jim Nance and Tony Romo? I like Jim Nance and Tony Romo. I like uh, I like Kevin Harlan who just did the, UC I think it was Kevin Harlan that did, that did this UCLA game. Um, Mike Breen for basketball is pretty good. He's the guy that goes bang. <laughs> so he's pretty good. There's a Brandon Marsh, purple to 99. And these are parallels, so I'm pretty sure the black border are, are considered non-numbered parallels. I don't mind Joe Buck doing football, but I dislike Joe Buck doing, uh, doing basketball or doing uh, Baseball. Here's a here's an O'Neill Cruz rookie auto. Nice. That goes to Darren and the Pirates. Got the Pirates straight up. I don't know who on the white on the for the socks who says you can put it on the board. Dennis Eckersley is a good color commentator for the Red Sox. He's come up, yeah, I think he came up with the phrase walk off, I want to say. I like the uh, I like the Yankees radio announcers. What was that one guy, that one guy and Susan? It is high. It is fall. It is out of here. Is that Michael K? Is that Michael K? I think you mentioned that earlier. 
Like a good Glaber, Torres is there! Oh, is it John Sterling? Oh. Wait, Susan's not there anymore? Hmm. It's no fun. 52 out of 75. Garrett Cole, speaking of the Yankees, that's to Richard. And there's Frank Thomas to 150. Trust me, she'll like it too. And the next one is Shane Boz, the Boz. Oh, Susan's there, but it's John Sterling's time? Hmm. Tampa Bay Rays, that'll be for Jake. Um, what's great is, uh, oh, and Mike's saying it was Ken Harrelson for the White Sox with that phrase, Rex. Um, oh, one of them's gone. I would enjoy listening to, uh, if you're a T-Mobile customer, you can get MLB.TV for free. And I think included in that is the radio, uh, package as well. So sometimes when I'm out for during the summer when I'm out for a walk or running or at the driving range or whatever, you know, I'll, I'll listen to other games and sometimes be the Yankees and to be that team and that'd be a pretty fun one to listen to. Bobby Witt Jr. for the Royals. That's going to go to Kevin. There's a red Hank Aaron to 75. A blue Edward Cabrera to 99. Mike saying as a Tigers fan, I was a big fan of, er big fan of Ernie Harwell. Andre Jackson reveals a brave Matt Olson, 13 out of 75. Nice. That goes to Stephen Carney and the Atlanta Braves. Brent Musburger. That's another good one. <laughs> what was that? Uh, Brent. Brent. Musburger had like a shtick where where he would like uh, shtick would be like the cameraman would point to like a an attractive lady in the crowd and he but then there there was one where he there was like one where he was like just really thirsting after one of these <laughs> girls it was like a national broadcast too I think it was like a bowl game it was college football and I forget whose girlfriend it was. Someone's gonna tell me in the chat. I know it. They're gonna know. I forget who the quarterback was. I forget the name of the girl too. But Brent <laughs> Musburger was like sort of, sort of, not, kind of being. I bet it's it's like a, in a Brent Musburger way. So it wasn't. Gross, but it was just sort of like a lecherous grandpa, you know, and um, 
And he was just like, wow. <laughs> he was just impressed. Say, like, oh, the quarterbacks get all the good ones. And just making comments like that was really pretty funny. That's right. It was AJ McCarron's girlfriend, Catherine Webb, I think. Is it Catherine Webb? I think they ended up getting married. Um, Bobby Wood Jr., the uh, black parallel going to Kevin and the Royals. Now, there you go. Catherine Webb, yeah. All right, the autograph behind Jose Ramirez is bang. It's Alfonso Rivas, 61 out of 75. Cubbies, James, and the Cubs. There you go. Mike's got it. Married since 2014. Still married? All right, we are halfway through this break. AJ McCarron might be a might still be a backup somewhere. Surprised no one's mentioned Costas and Michaels. That's true. Al Michaels in his prime was pretty good. Um, Costas I kind of like more in studio rather than like a, as a studio analyst or as like uh, hosting a a sports hosting a like a like a magazine show is what they call them, but I like them there less, less in the play-by-play -play scenario. There's Trey Turner to 150, Jake Myers to 99, so different class levels. Oh, Adrian McCarron's not a backup, but he's the quarterback for the St. Louis Battlehawks of the, of the XFL. Jake Myers goes to Ed, Dodgers Trey Turner goes to Eric, and the Wander Franco base goes to Jake. Behind C.J. Abrams is, bang, Cabrian Hayes. Got the O'Neill Cruz earlier, Darren. Now add a Cabrian Hayes to that one. Card Sharks naming a Jim Fox, Bob Miller. Bob, Mil Bob Miller is doing... No, I'm thinking of John Miller. The John Miller, Joe Morgan Sunday Night Baseball team was pretty good way back when. I think John Miller still does TV play-by-play -play for the San Francisco Giants, I want to say. What's everyone's favorite sports-related theme song? Could be Fox's doo 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 doo. Could be CBS's doo 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 doo. Or it could be doo 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 doo. Or it could be. I think that might be my favorite. Round Ball Rock by uh, John Tesh. There's four out of 50, Trey Turner, Dodgers. 
And then just up the five freeway, or just down the five freeway from the Dodgers is the Angels, Mike Trout. To 150, that'll be for Rob. Bobby Wood Jr. for the Royals. I don't know. I don't know how to get there from here. You probably have to go up the 15. You go across the 10, up the 15, all the way to like Utah maybe. And then go over another interstate to, to get to Kansas City. All right, next autograph, bang. It's Juan Yepes. It's another one for Eric and the St. Louis Cardinals. Rex misses watching bowling on Sunday afternoons when you're a kid. Bowling. I feel like that's the most Midwestern-y thing that I've heard Rex say. Sunday. I guess depending on the season, Sundays is always, always baseball, baseball or football. And a little bit of golf in the morning. There's Ronald Acuna Jr., 75, Braves, Stephen Carney. Here's Wander Franco for the Rays. That's for Jake. Ronzi Contreras to 75, purple. Bo Bichette to 50 for Toronto. You should, you should watch John Tesh. Dude, like after the stream is over, before you go to bed, just look up John Tesh doing the NBA on NBC theme song and do it live. Maybe you shouldn't. Do that in the morning because if you listen to it before you go to bed at night, it's going to fire you up too much. You won't be able to get to bed. You're just going to be too fired up. All right, the autograph is Greg Diekman. Yeah, he gets he he gets pretty into it. Some of some of the some of the other live performances, um, he'll actually tell the story of how he came up with that song. Apparently, he was on tour, maybe in Europe or something like that, and uh, he um, he got the got the commission got the call from NBC to say hey uh, we want you to do write us the theme song for for NBA on NBC and he said he uh, it was back in the day so he said he called he called his own um, he called his own uh, answering machine and sang the hum the tune into his answering machine so he would remember it and it pretty much sound like the way I'm singing it now. Well, the uneducated kids have no idea, Charles. But we've got a lot of educated kids around here that know about the Marvin Gaye. Star Spangled Banner, one of the tops.
Hmm. Rex no longer wants to talk about John Tesh. <laughs> He's like, let's change the subject. Speaking of music, I heard that Pearl Jam's drummer, Mike Cameron's going to be replacing Taylor Hawkins. Oh, huh, interesting. And the drummer from Angels and Airwaves. Bang. Josiah Gray, rookie auto. Nationals, that's for James. And the Nats, the spot that he won. All right, final four boxes. The final four. It's a good time for that. Good time for that. My final four officially busted. I only have Houston left in my final four. Never should have never should have picked Purdue. I feel like Purdue was was a boneheaded move here. Alright, there's a Wander Franco on top. His teammate Vidal Bruhan. And here's a Freddie Freeman blue to 50. That'll be for Eric and the Dodgers. And then there's Jake Smith with the Vidal Bruhan to 75. There's a Julio Rodriguez. Black parallel, that's for Rob and the Mariners. And I think that's it's a class three. You're, you might have to use a jeweler's loop to take a look at that, unless you have sharp eyes. Forty nine at seventy five Jose Siri Rays edition going to Jake. And another Bobby Witt Jr. for Kevin and the Royals. And we'll never be Royals. And Bang. We got Jake McCarthy. For John and the Snakes. He's a cold hearted snake. Look into his eyes. Uh oh. He's been telling lies. <laughs> not Jake, maybe. I can't speak for if Jake's been telling lies or not. But The character in question in that song it was a uh, snake. That's a pretty good one. The CBS uh, March Madness theme. Hey, what's going on, Delara? What's going on? What's going on? Paula Abdulza, she's got some. She's got some hits. Remember that. Uh, remember that one video with the cat. What was the animated cat? Oh yeah, the NHL on ESPN. That's. A, I don't know if I could sing that one. That's a weird one to sing. I'm, I'm gonna try it. Do 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 do. That's something like that. Do 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 do. Something like something like. Is that close, Jake? Maybe not. In my head, it sounded close. There's Torkelson for Kevin. There's Clayton, and there's 
A Jim Abbott. Nice, classic. Jim Abbott for the Angels, Rob. Uh, I should see John. I have not seen any of the other John. Do I need to see the other wicks before I see this wick? It looked like pretty, uh, it looked, it looked pretty entertaining. I think they're doing a spin-off movie from the John Wick universe with Hannah de Armas. Who is uh, Marilyn Monroe and blonde, and she was a Bond, uh, a Bond girl. She was in James, the latest James Bond. It's pretty easy on the eyes. Yeah, a couple other pretty good movies. I think she was in uh, um, the uh, first Knives Out movie as well. Uh, one shining moment or good riddance, time of your life. Do they do good riddance, time of your life by Green Day after the championship game? I don't remember that. I, I do remember one shining moment. Do, 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 do. That's, that's not that song. That's the, that's the, uh, Title screen for uh, Mario Kart. Still <laughs> one fifteen. I'm losing it, folks. Fernando Tatis Jr. for the Padres. That'll be for Gary. Another Wander. Let's find an autograph. Where's Wander? You too, Julio. Where that dot autograph better be one of those two guys. There's Julio Rodriguez to 25. I think that's a class three to 25, Rob. Can we find you an autograph, please? Hang. Let's see one of these guys. Wander, Bobby Witt Jr., Julio Rodriguez. It's Buster Posey. Red for the Giants. That'll be for Jose. And a Torkelson. All right, and there's a Brian De La Cruz rookie auto for the fish for James Last Pop Mojo. I I did not know. I don't watch the Tonight Show. I'm guessing you caught where Tonight Show did a bit with a bunch of people singing Super Mario theme. Dooby dooby dooby. Dooby dooby dooby. Dooby dooby dooby. Dooby dooby dooby. I don't need to look her up, Rex, because she is the uh, she was on Mad Men. She was the uh, the buxom redhead in Mad Men. On Mad Men, she's done some other stuff too since then. I think, but that was her first main role. Rex acting like nobody saw Mad Men. All right. Last box. Good luck. There's Bobby Wood Jr. There's Luis Robert to 75. 
Alright. Curtis Terry. Alright, well, no Julio, no Wander, no Bobby, but a Curtis Terry for the Twins. That's going to go to Gary, who won that team in the filler on the board with an autograph. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's Picker Team 6 in the books. Our last Picker Team for now. But keep your eye out for more on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Appreciate it. And there's the out of five Bagwell Bat Relic. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.